Hello and welcome to the internet. Yes, this is the internet, part of the internet which you are watching me from in this little box here that you are watching me. And the internet is here to stay. It was uh, more launched in 1991, I believe, and it's, uh, it's, it's not going to go away. It's something that's going to continue to be part of our lives. But we weren't born into this reality with the internet, although modern sort of babies and children are born into this way of life. Um, people who are born, you know, before uh, before the 80s or 90s, then they would have surrounded themselves in a, in a world where we weren't in this world where we had, you know, resources and information and social media and communications at our fingertips within seconds. This is what I believe is helping to speed up the evolution of consciousness of humanity in the world where we can gain more information, clarity, and where everything is fast paced, fast tracked, that we are heading towards, you know, enlightenment in a way. And we are far back behind that at the moment. If you look at our, our planet, the way we are intoxicating, it, you know, the world, it's, uh, it's not pure, it's not clean, uh, there are still wars and conflicts going on and that's something that is never going to really change because where there is light there is darkness and where there is you know, light there are shadows and the two one of the positive and negative are, is what create life and death, it's a continuing cycle and the reality of earth, the, the, the main structure and form, the lessons is coming here and learning uh, things and it's not karma as such. We choose that karma by guilt, by our own choosing. When we reincarnate, coming into this this world, this reality, that we have a a, a need, an understanding, a, a want, a desire to feel like we are in debt in our hearts, in our in our consciousness to fix things or or be in debt to other people. If you understand what I mean, so. Um, Basically, if we ha were in a family where, you know, mum, father, um, you know, brothers and sister and, and ourselves and something happened in that family, one of one of those people, <clears throat> then we all pass over and we all, you know, group together and we say, OK, look, I'm going to be the son this time or I'm going to be the daughter or how about I be the uncle this time and I look after you and support you and this is what's going to happen and we come addicted to this this reality. <clears throat> but what has helped understanding about ourselves even more is the use of the internet itself, more resource of information. And I believe also that in many years to come, um, more people are going to have a lot more past life uh, re memories. And the internet is going to show us that there is evidence or anything like that which is showing information. So, for example, the, the Twin Towers, you know, September 11th. Um, basically, what happened then was tragic, horrible, lots and lots of people died and um, everything. And there are children nowadays who uh, remember certain things that happened back um, that day. They remember their office number, they remember their, their family, and maybe they, are, they feel in debt to come back and finish off this life that they couldn't do when... You know, everything is, is free will, you know, like we all have uh, the ability to choose where and when we want to incarnate and to um, have this life. And so I believe that the internet has been a great resource for having clarity and information and really propelling us more into an evolution of, of consciousness and, uh, you know, like telepathy in a sense. Um, so the internet is here to stay and it's given us great resources and information that we can't get ourselves. You know, I remember lots of past lives myself, but if the records were there when the internet was there back, you know, five, six hundred years ago, I would be able to research that information and find, you know, perhaps where I lived and anything like that. So the internet is here to stay. It's a great source, source of information. And I believe also, as I said, for future generations, when we you know reincarnate and we look up back at our past lives and we have these memories and it could be all sorts of things you know or, or tragic events that have happened or positive events famous people 
Um, imagine knowing that you were incarnated as, you know, a previous incarnation. You were a famous person and you could look it up, all your old music that you used to do and, and the reasons why you um, do the things that you do. For example, this is a good example as well, is that I'm wearing them now. <laughs> um, I wear combats a lot, combat trousers. They've got pockets in. I like wearing boots. Um, I like keeping fit. Um, and I used to have a big backpack on when I was younger with like bricks in it, actual bricks, and do push-ups. And this is something that they did in the army, uh, especially like Vietnam and, and every other places. And my past lives were in these places in Vietnam, and I was also in like the Second World War. Um, I've lived very short lives, and one of them I lived much longer life. And I have these memories, these these echoes of of remembrance ever since I was very very young. And so the things that I do in this lifetime are like a, an echo from my past. That I don't feel it's something that I've I've um, I got trauma about. I just think that it's something that I know and I'm used to. And it's almost like you you know the, the hardware slips into the software. Uh, so the other way around, the software sits into the hardware and almost has a memory of knowing what to do. And so this is the same with us. When our consciousness comes back into this reality, into a physical body, uh, we have the remembrance again of doing things, of liking the certain drinks or food that we used to love, or, or why we say certain things. And me, I was, I was very sure that I was in the army when I was in a past life, I think the, the First World War. Um, I don't know exact dates, I just remember lots of memories of washing old clothes and um, being drawn to Spitfire pilots as well, uh, Spitfire planes, and me being a Spitfire pilot. And um, I remember my brother, uh, one Christmas, he had all these little figurines of planes and I said to him, this is, a, this is a Spitfire plane. And I had no idea how I knew that, he didn't know. He was very shocked, spoke to my mum and dad, say, hey, how come you know, Ladra knows these, uh, the name of these planes, and it, was, it baffled me. I was like, I don't know, I just, just knew. And maybe it was something that I had information come down to me and, um, you know, retain that information. But I believe with other things that I did and do, um, that I was reliving parts of those past lives in me now. And this is where wisdom comes from and knowledge. Another example is that um, in the summer months when it was warm enough, I used to get like two chairs and blankets and, and make my bed in, outside um, in the garden. And my parents were, were shocked. I did it every summer for like weeks and weeks during the school holidays, like six, seven weeks outside in a tent, slept out there. And I was happy because I was in nature, um, under the stars. Um, and I think that perhaps I was having memories of being in like a camp uh, wherever I was, um, you know, being a soldier, uh, pilot, uh, you know, I've got flashbacks of Vietnam and stuff. I haven't been there yet. I need to go. Um, but hey, it's a past life. I don't need to go, but it's like, I would like to go and visit. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, researching these things helps on, on the internet as well and regaining that information. So there's something to take into account is that also, me documenting all this, I don't know how long this is going to stay up on the internet, on YouTube. It may be until my next life, who knows. Um, but it's a great resource of information. So many people do, do blogs and vlogs and uh, YouTube videos. People write books. Uh, there's information out there, Facebook, social media. And if that never got wiped at all, it would be like the, the physical Akashic records that we have on Earth. And so, again, when we reincarnate, we have that physical evidence that okay, this is who you were, <laughs> and who knows, this might be more documented. So thank you for listening to me, uh, thank you for watching. Um, these are the snippets of, of my mind, thinking about information and knowledge, and, and uh, welcome to my mind, basically. So thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.